have now made it to the most remote and wild area of Thailand, the Mae Hong Song province. The Mae Hong Song Loop is famous in Thailand for its 1,864 corners. As we've come from a different direction to most of the travellers, we will have no real idea what the number of corners that lie ahead is. All we know for sure is that it is a hilly and steep route. Day 62 of our tour from Singapore to the UK. We attend to the usual cleaning and oiling of our chains and checking our bikes over, ready for the hill climbs ahead that would undoubtedly put some strain on the bikes, and us for that matter. On the route north from Mae Sariang, we came across rolling hills, the occasional temple, and tiny villages selling mountains of fresh fruit and veg. So what's your name? Udo. Hi. Udo, Adam. Nice Adam. to meet you. Lucia, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. And you, yeah. pleasure to meet you. Unfortunately, you're on the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some of us have to go clockwise and some go the other way. Chiang Mai. Uh, what does yeah, this go yeah, on? Eventually. Hi. He's drunk or something like that. Hello. Mm. Okay. No. So, what are you cut? <laughs> Did you lose weight already? Yeah. Udo was the first of the cycle tourists we had seen on the road for weeks. It was great to be able to hear about the route that lay ahead for us and to chat to another cycle tourist, especially one so enthusiastic and positive. Are you making a video or what? Yeah, That's yeah. Video, yeah. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Udo also mentioned that he extended his Thai visa in Mae Hong Son. So that's now our new plan. So we found one restaurant open in the, our town, which we are in now, which is called... Ban Mei Lanoi. <laughs> I never know the names of the places. We have nailed down one of the Thai foods to say, um, which is basically noodle soup with meat. Uh, it's called Goi Tiao. If you go Goi Tiao, you'll get this, which is basically a noodle soup. Good. After setting my alarm for 6.30, I rose early and immediately began cooking us some porridge for breakfast on the small, grubby balcony outside our room. Fully proficient now with using the stove, I enjoyed the views of the hills shrouded in the morning mist whilst preparing the much needed fuel for the day ahead. On this route, it is a common occurrence to have a pack of noisy motorcyclists thunder past on their huge steeds, big metal panniers either side of their bikes. I wonder how they can possibly appreciate the pure, beautiful nature around them as they roar through the peaceful countryside. We met even more cycle tourists today. You don't see any for weeks and then four come along all at once. First, we met two older Thai men who were cycling the Mae Hong Son Loop in the more popular anti-clockwise direction. While talking to them, two more cyclists came along. Two friends, one from Belgium, the other from Austria. We both lived outside Bangkok. They're also following the same direction as the two Thai men. Similarly to our encounter yesterday, it was nice to chat and it made us realize that we're not so crazy after all doing this route on a bicycle. It's now time for the lunch stop. Always good to refuel. Just stumbled across this little absolute <laughs> Good boy, are ya? I was expecting this today. The afternoon continued in much the same way with lovely views of the rolling hills and pleasant climbs and downhills. We reached our destination of Kun Yan and set about trying to find a reasonably priced hotel, guest house or resort to stay for the night. One of the best places to camp is the police stations, as we've already seen. So our last resort, if this hotel is too expensive or full, we'll go to the police station and see if we can camp. We, they haven't told us a price for this one yet, so... Uh, We're just waiting to see... And they seem to keep be avoiding the question, Tal Rai Club. Mm. Which means how much? 
with yeah. them. Yes. How much would it be for one night? Tomorrow. Another tonight. 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 Oh no, tonight. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, okay. No problem. All right. Okay. Thank Go you anyway. Grab. Uh, no success. Hotel's full. That's our fifth hotel. Let's try a sixth. Six hotels, Six all hotels. fully booked. All fully booked or too expensive. Yeah, some of them are like a thousand baht, which mm. is it's just out of our it's budget for us. Double our budget. Especially when we know we have a, a tent, which is lovely and nice and cosy. And free. We are in our tent in the police station. And it's raining outside, which is always appreciated. I'll just show you this here's head. Kun Yam. Your hotels were all full up on Saturday, the 10th of November, but there was room in the inn at the police station. <laughs> Good night. Don't let the bag buds back. We've just packed up and we're leaving the police station in Kunyam. Just as we were leaving the police station, one of the officers called us over for the obligatory leaving photograph. I imagine we'll print it out Put it in a frame on his desk. Now, where are you going? Uh, Mehon Son. Mehon Son. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Thank Good day. Sawari Kap. It's just leaving Kunyam. We just arrived at what is a giving ceremony for all the uh, Buddhist monks. Which, uh, it must have started really early because it's now 7 in the morning. Everyone's here. This is an early service. Sawari Kap. This is just what we hoped the Mei Hong Song province would offer. We were now getting to some of the most beautiful scenery of the journey so far. Steep climbs followed by downhills that give our brakes the biggest test yet. We were absolutely loving it. the Mehon Song night market and we've uh, had gone for a good old smoothie. Where's your smoothie Lou? It's gone, as always. The food here is amazing and we were just saying that we think that this may possibly be the best night market we've been to, not oh, only no, in Thailand, it is the best. but in Thailand and Malaysia. Mm. Big call. There's just food everywhere and it's chilled, it's pedestrianised. There's this area to sit on right next to the lake with beautiful views of the temple which is lit up at night. All the meats you can imagine. So vibrant and colourful and it's just the food is amazing. So today our plan is to go and extend our Thai visas. Mm -hmm. We've spent uh, about a month and a half here so far but we want to spend another month on top of our visa so to do that we need to go to the immigration office we've been told it's really easy to do it here in Mei Hong Song compared to doing it in a busier place like Chiang Mai we've been also heard it might even take no longer than 10 minutes mm, I have no faith 
in an immigration center and it took you 10 minutes. Success! We have extended our Thai visas. Woohoo! So officially, we're allowed to stay in Thailand till the 27th of December. Yeah. Which is now about the 11th of November. That gives us loads of time to do the Mae Hong Song Loop and beyond. Yep, chill out time in Chiang Mai. Get out before the 27th of December. Might even have Christmas in Thailand. Maybe. We'll see. Gives us more flexibility. Yeah. But uh, if anyone needs to ever extend a visa, we'd recommend Mae Hong Song if you're in this area. Mae Hong Son was the perfect place to have three peaceful, quiet rest days before tackling the remainder of this challenging route. It was just the right amount of time needed to recharge for the climb to Pai. Hey well, Mae Hong Son! It's been nice knowing you. Climbing for Mae Hong Song was by far the hardest of the whole journey so far. Lucia struggled to keep control of her heavy touring bike on the steep gradient. She luckily avoided an accident at one point. We knew before coming this way that it would be tough, but we didn't think it would be as hard as this. So we're about, about halfway there. Really good, the uphills. Are you enjoying the uphills, my darling? There weren't little hills. It was a big, steep hill. <laughs> <laughs> have you enjoyed it though? Yeah, I've enjoyed the downhills. The downhills have been absolutely superb. Yeah. Like, normally, on the other previous hills that we've done, it's, it's basically just been up, 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 with no down. Whereas this time, we've gone up for a bit, then a bit of a down. We found this little restaurant. What have you asked for? Goitiao. Ah, we've asked for Goitiao. My brakes are a little bit unresponsive, so I've got the old tool out and I'm going to give it a little fiddle. watch this episode all the way to this point why don't you go ahead and subscribe i promise you that the next episode is going to be even better